All right. Court's going to start calling uh, the docket at this point. First case is 2017-216, State of Arkansas versus Doyle George. Your Honor, Mr. George has already uh, signed a plea statement. He'll be entering a plea, so whenever the court transports inmates over, then Mr. George would need to be transported over. All right. Mr. George, you'll be brought over uh, later today. You may be excused at this time. <coughs> 2017-340, State of Arkansas versus Bradley Sellers. Your Honor, um, there is no action to take in Mr. Sellers' case today. Uh, bond is not an issue in his case. Uh, I will tell Mr. Sellers, as I told him at the jail, that Brad, your mom, is here in the courtroom uh, to do what we talked about uh, when I was at the jail, all right? Okay. There's not, nothing further, Judge. This is a case that's on the trial schedule for the week of uh, September 26th. Everything stays as is, Judge. All right. Next appearance in court will be February 22nd. 2017-358, State of Arkansas versus, versus Javis Curley. Your Honor, Mr. Curley um, actually has, uh, I think, four cases that are on your docket. Uh, he needs to be transported over also. All right. We anticipate a plea on him today, Judge. All right. Mr. Curley, I'm directing you'll be brought over for the later session in court. Hi. You may be excused at this time. 2017-436, State of Arkansas versus Ronald Love. Mr. Love's case is, uh, this is a review hearing the, uh, by scheduling order. The next appearance in court will be uh, on February 22nd. He's got a pretrial also on March 22nd. And I'd like to address the issue of Mr. Love's bond before he's uh, released. What it, what do you show the bond set at? You know, I believe his bond is set at a hundred thousand dollars. What says the state on the issue of bond? You know, the state would agree to reduce that bond to twenty thousand dollars with some conditions, Your Honor. Okay, what are the proposed conditions? Now, he'd be required to report each Monday for drug testing, uh, probation, and parole. He'd not be allowed to use or consume alcoholic beverages. That he has no contact with the victim, and that no contact order would mean if he has any contact with the victim, and that's provided to the sheriff's office, he would immediately be re incarcerated, Your Honor. Did you understand that, Ron? Um, yes, I do understand it. Um, is there any way that the bond could be reduced to 10000 The only income I have is disability. <laughs> Never fled on bond. I've always appeared all my court appearances. Your Honor, it's position to state that that, that the twenty thousand dollars is would be appropriate based upon the nature of these charges. Your Honor, I, Mr. Well, Lovett, the, the court's the court's response. I mean, the court has read uh, the. The affidavit and read the uh, the information, uh, the allegations against the defendant. Uh, given the multiple uh, alleged acts of violence uh, involved, and in the uh, in particular the, the the reckless driving and DWI charges that are involved, that pose a clear uh, potential threat threat to the public. The court. Uh, the court thinks the $20,000 bond is a very reasonable offer on behalf of the state. The court's going to set the bond there, conditioned uh, in accordance with the conditions recommended by the, by the state. Uh, for reporting for drug testing uh, each Monday, no drugs or alcohol, uh, is use of drugs or alcohol, use or possession of drugs or alcohol, and no contact with the uh, alleged victims in in his case uh, in any sort. Those will be the conditions on the bond. 
Understand. That'll be that'll be the bond. Understand all that, Ron? Yes, sir. Uh, this matter is down for trial uh, in May, uh, the week of May 26th, and there's a there will be a uh, he's to reappear on uh, February 22nd. You may be excused at this time. The court is calling uh, Baxter County case 2017-437-2017-190, State of Arkansas uh, versus uh, Jennifer Elliott. And our Ms. Elliott was transported from uh, DOC, um, even looking on the website last night. I don't think she got here until possibly even uh, this morning. Uh, she needs to be brought over, Your Honor. All right. I'll direct that uh, Ms. Elliott be brought over for the later session of court. You may be excused until then. 2017, 438, 2015, uh, 118, State of Arkansas versus Matthew Wiley. All right, where do we stand on Mr. Wiley? Your Honor, I think we have an agreement worked out, at least in regards to the revocation, so there will not be a revocation hearing today, but he'll need to be brought over uh, All right. this afternoon. All right, you'll be transported over this afternoon. You may be excused at this time. Thank you, John. 2017-442, State of Arkansas versus Jessica Raymond. <coughs> this matter is on the schedule for a trial date of May 21st. You know, so the court's aware Ms. Raymond also has a pending revocation in front of Judge Putnam. Okay. Her next appearance in court will be February 22nd. Your Honor, when I talked to Ms. Raymond at the jail, one of our intentions today was to get, or at least attempt to get, her bond reinstated. Uh, however, if I'm hearing this correctly, her revocation is on Division Three, and uh, so I don't know that we can even address that today, um, since that's been, is the revo on Judge Putnam's docket? It is on Judge Putnam's docket. It's February 1st, Your Honor. Is that where the no bond is coming from? <coughs> Can I explain that to her, Judge? You may. Jessica, yes. did you hear what I was saying? Yes, sir. All right. Is there we no will... chance of your going today? No. Okay. This court. To the okay. Box, so we can, can you move your. Speak move forward, Jessica. To Jessica, yes. your revocation is not on Judge Webb's docket, it is on Judge Putman's docket. So we'll have to address the bond with Judge Putman, okay? So okay. we cannot do anything on the, your bond today, all right? All right, you may be excused. Your, your next appearance in front of this court is February 22nd. 2017-444, State of Arkansas versus Scott Haynes. You know, I want him brought over. I visited with Mr. Haynes. Um, yesterday and I, I think we'll be able to reach a resolution on his case today. All right. I'm going to direct Mr. Haynes that you be brought over later on today so you may be excused at this time. Thank you. 2017, uh, 446, State of Arkansas versus Robert Penny. Your Honor, Mr. Penny and I have visited and um, um, we saw each other briefly in the hallway of the jail this morning again, but uh, there is no action uh, to take on this case today, Your Honor. There's no bond issues, at least at this time. 
All right. I'm direct. He'll, he'll reappear uh, for status of the case on February 22nd. He's got a pretrial hearing set on uh, March 22nd uh, with a trial date the week of um, May 21st. You may be excused, sir. Thank you, Your Honor. Two thousand seventeen dash four fifty six Alexis Bates. Your Honor, as far as the merits of her case, there is nothing uh, to take up today. I do want to address the issue of bond. Mr. Etheridge and I have come to an agreement on the bond before she's released by the court. Very well. <laughs> Your Honor, uh, uh, her bond of $5,000 had been revoked by the state because she had picked up a misdemeanor uh, a charge which she's now pled guilty to. What we've agreed to is that uh, her new bond will be $1,500, cash or corporate, <laughs> and that she'll be placed on an ankle monitor upon her release. And then the normal terms and conditions of drug testing of once a week, that being on Monday at the um, uh, at the court or at the probation office. After the ankle monitor, what's the next term? I'm sorry. The drug testing at the probation office every Monday at 8 a.m. Of prohibition against no drugs, no alcohol, and no contact with the previous victims in these cases, Your Honor. All right. We're saying it down. The court would approve a bond uh, that's proposed, a $1,500 bond uh, with an ankle monitor. Uh, conditions of the bond will include drug testing uh, at the probation office every Monday at 8 a.m. Uh, and no possession or use of alcohol and no contact with the uh, alleged victims in the case. <coughs> Your next appearance in court will be uh, February 22nd for, uh, for, for a status of the case hearing. The trial is set off in May, the week of May 21st. You know, and I know Mr. Cooper will do this, but the state wants to be clear about how we feel about ankle monitors. Their failure to pay for that monitor or failure to keep the monitor charged to us is a violation in terms of conditions of the bond and we expect to be revoked in that situation. Of course. It's got to be a functioning ankle monitor yes. to be a valid uh, provision of her, of her release. All right. You may be excused at this time. Thank you, sir. Court will call 2000. Uh, 16 372 2016 410 and 2017 68 state of arkansas versus barry fowler your honor as the court can see mr fowler like miss elliott um, was brought in i think late last night or early this morning so i need him brought over and will attempt to come to some resolution if not your honor i'll address uh, the possibility of keeping him here so i can visit with him for the next week yeah, that matters on for trial, uh, now scheduled for trial during the week of, of January 29th. Yes, so. just leave it as is, Your Honor. Right. right. You may be excused, sir. You'll be brought over this afternoon. Thank you. 2017-284, 2017-316, State of Arkansas versus Mary Jackson. Your Honor, I'm visiting with Ms. Jackson and then with Mr. Etheridge. I think we're very close to an agreement. I think we're close enough to bring her over this afternoon. It may not happen, but I'd like to at least try. All right. Directing Ms. Jackson will be brought over this afternoon. And Mr. Gingler. You know, there's no action on Mr. Gingler um, today. Um, we know that he is on the court's trial docket currently for the week of January 29. So 2016-152, 2016-197, uh, David Gengler, that matter is set for trial uh, in at the last of January. That's correct, Your Honor. All right, All right. you may be excused, sir.
2016-238-2016-283, State of Arkansas versus uh, Sean Eaton. He'll need to be brought over also, Judge. Mr. Eaton, you'll be brought over for the afternoon session of court. You may be excused at this time. <coughs> Two thousand eighteen dash twenty eight, State of Arkansas versus Tommy Hitt. It shows here there's also another case involving the same defendant. Do we know a case number on that at this point? Court's going to make the uh, appointment of the public defender's uh, office for Mr. Hitt uh, on both cases. The one where the number at this point hasn't been assigned, and in 2018-28. In case 2018-28, I've now appointed the Public Defender's Office. Uh, Mr. Hitt, you're facing charges of breaking or entering. That's a Class D felony. A second uh, count of breaking or entering, is, which is a D felony, and theft of property, a D felony. On those charges, how do you now plead? Your Honor, he enters a plea of not guilty. This matter is assigned to the Division Four docket of this court. Your Honor, can I, uh, before the court puts this on this scheduling order, I've been informed that he has, Mr. Hitt has four pending cases on Division Three. Is that correct, Amy? Uh, I would move that we transfer this case to uh, Division Three uh, to run concurrent with those cases. So you already have four cases on that other on the Division that's, Three. Now? That's that's probably correct, Your Honor. We also would need to do an eight point one on him if we could do that this morning while he's available. Well, yeah. I'd, I'd, I, I don't know anything about the other case. What, what are we looking at the other case? No, thank you. <laughs> Wrapping up on then on uh, on case 2018-28, the court's going to transfer to divi that case to Division Three and. Uh, set it for a reappearance on February 1st in front of Judge Putman. You go in front of Judge Putman for, uh, uh, to get on his scheduling order on that day. Okay. Now, Mr. Hitt, on the other, the other case that's, that apparently is in the process of being filed but hasn't yet, uh, uh, the warrant hasn't either, it hasn't been served or it hasn't uh, uh, been returned to the court to set up a file, uh, we have a, uh, the court is going to do a Rule 8.1 hearing. Rule 8.1 refers to Rule 8.1 of the Arkansas Rules of Criminal Procedure. Rule 8.1 provides that a person who's sitting in jail and hasn't made bond is entitled to be, uh, uh, come before a judge as you are today to be informed of what charges are and any bond uh, that's been set on the case. The court would advise you that uh, the, the, that there's been a formal affidavit, uh, you've been arrested on probable cause of a formal affidavit has been submitted to the prosecutor's office and the prosecuting <laughs> attorney's office is preparing charges of theft of property, class B felony, theft of property, a class D felony, and criminal mischief in the first degree, a class D felony. Uh, those charges, uh, those are the charges that uh, appear to be pending uh, uh, at this point and there's been a probable cause affidavit prepared and uh, uh, reviewed and, and signed uh, in this matter. When the uh, warrant is served and returned, a uh, file will be set up and we don't know at this time whether the case will be assigned to Division 3, or to, which is Judge Putman, or Division 4, which is my, my docket. But in any case, uh, 
that's all done by random selection. So you'll, um, you, you know, that's, that's where your case stands. Bond has been set in that case uh, on the basis of $25,000 cash or professional bond. Uh, the court would uh, advise you, the court will advise you that while you're in custody, you have the right to remain silent and not answer any questions uh, that may be put to you by law enforcement. Uh, that's a that's a constitutional right you have. Uh, you of course can waive that right and talk to law enforcement if you choose to, but you need to understand you have an absolute constitutional right not to. <laughs> Uh, make statements about any criminal act activity that's uh, been alleged against you. You exercise that right by just simply declining to answer questions if asked to do so by law enforcement. The other right you have that you need to be aware of while you're in custody is your right to an attorney. Uh, actually, that you've exercised that right. I've already made the appointment. Uh, uh, you've made an application to the Public Defender's Office and I've already uh, signed off on your application, so uh, you've exercised that right, and I don't think I need to inform you any further about that right. This concludes a Rule 8.1 hearing uh, under the circumstances of this situation. So uh, you can, at this point, you can uh, you can be excused. Your next appearance in court will be on that one case, uh, 2000. 18-28 uh, where you're going to appear before Judge Putman on uh, February 1st. You may be excused. Okay, is there, Judge, is there, is there any way that uh, possible at all that we come to an agreement and I could sign for uh, 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 sign for a certain amount of uh, whatever uh, today? We could get something going that I could well, just get this, I'd like to get this over with because I've been going to court now for over a year. Mr. Hitt, here's the, here's the problem. If you indeed have four other cases on another judge's docket uh, in order to make any meaning, meaningful resolution of these cases uh, that we've been discussing today, uh, you know, the, whatever, whatever attorney who's been representing you on those other cases uh, probably isn't here, or if he is, I, I don't know it. Uh, the, you know, we, we couldn't resolve all, all four, five or six cases uh, today uh, because of that situation. Uh, you might look at doing that on February 1st because now you'll be there and at least five of those cases are now on, uh, the cases against you are on Judge Putman's docket uh, because I've transferred the one today and uh, you might be able to work out some resolution on February 1st. All right. All right. You may be excused. <laughs>